Hello Yellow Class, for our literacy for the next couple of weeks we're going to be thinking about the Pie Corbett story called Greedy Fox. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to start learning the story with you and I'm going to show you how to do your story maps so when you do your story maps on Monday you can have a look through and you can work through this video at the same time as me so you can build up your understanding of that story because as you know when we learn these stories we need to learn them really well so that we can retell them. In your pack you should have a copy of the story which you can read through with your parents as well. You've also got two of these. Now one of them might be a little bit hidden because I snuck it in at the last minute last week so you might have to have a little look through to see if you can find the second one. I gave you two because Greedy Fox is a little bit of a longer story and I thought you might want a few more boxes. So I have put two in there and you can use both of them today but you might have to look for the second one. And you may also want to use your word bank to help you because when we're doing our story map it always helps us to put a few of those tricky words onto our story map just to help us remember some of those words. Right, so this is a story called a Greedy Fox. So it starts off, early one morning Mr Fox woke up and he picked up his bag. So I'm going to start off with that one. On our story map we don't tend to write or draw the whole thing. So, early one morning, I'm just going to put the letters there. Now, when I'm drawing Mr Fox, Mr Fox is just going to look like this. It doesn't need to be in great detail, it's just to remind me. And I might just write under here, Mr Fox, so I remember the character's name. So he woke up and he picked up his bag. Okay, so he's going to have his bag. So, that's the first two boxes. Early one morning, Mr Fox woke up and picked up his bag. Now we know this from other stories. The next part is he walked and he walked and he walked until he came to a pond. So when we do this, as you know, and I just put a times three in there and I'm just going to write walked and then I'm just going to draw a pond because that's where he walked to. Okay, right, so early one morning, Mr Fox woke up and picked up his bag. He walked and he walked and he walked until he came to a pond. Okay, there he saw a frog. Now a frog, not necessarily great at drawing frogs, you'll probably be better than me, but as long as I know it's a frog, we'll be okay. And we'll write frog just in case we forget that it's a frog. Okay. There he saw a frog, so he grabbed the frog and popped it into his bag. So we're going to just draw the bag again, and I'm just going to do that symbol there to show that he's putting the frog into his bag. I might write, I might write popped actually in there because he popped that in. All right, let's have another go. So let's start from the beginning. Early one morning, Mr Fox woke up. He picked up his bag. He walked and he walked and he walked until he came to a pond. There he saw a frog. He picked up the frog and popped it into his bag. So the next part is he walked and he walked and he walked until he came to the candlestick maker. So we just need the same symbol, or oh, I don't know if I can draw backwards. So we've got the same symbol times three and he came to the candlestick makers. Now, Mr Fox then asks for a favour and he asks for the same thing each time and he says, may I leave my bag here, but whilst I'm gone, don't look in my bag. Then he walked down the path. So, I'm not going to write all of what Mr Fox says, I'm just going to do a speech bubble to remind me that Mr Fox is talking and then he walks down the path. Okay, so early one morning, Mr. Fox woke up. He picked up his bag. He walked and he walked and he walked until he came to a pond. There he saw a frog. He picked up the frog and popped it into his bag. He walked and he walked and he walked until he came to the candlestick makers. 
may I leave my bag here, but whilst I'm gone, don't look in my bag. Then he walked down the path. However, the candlestick maker opened the bag and out hopped the frog and was eaten by a large rat. So, next bit that we've got is the candlestick maker opens the bag and out hops the frog and is eaten by a large brown rat. So let's have a look here. So, may I leave my bag here, but whilst I'm gone, don't look in my bag. Then he walked down the path. However, the candlestick maker opened the bag, out jumped the frog, and was eaten by a rat. <gasps> Unfortunately, at that moment, Mr. Fox came back. Where is my frog? So Mr. Fox comes back, and then he asks where. I'm just going to write where in there, so I remember which speech mark that is. Where is my frog? Ooh. And then the candlestick maker says, I'm sorry, said the candlestick maker. That large brown rat ate it up. So the candlestick maker, then he says, sorry. And he points to the rat. So he took the rat. He walked and he walked and he walked until he came to the baker's. So that's times three and we've got walked again on there until he came to the baker's. Now I'm just going to do the baker's so it looks a little bit like a loaf of bread. Now the story, although it's a long story, does repeat itself again. So when he walks into the baker's shop, Mr Fox says, may I leave my bag here? And I might just write may in that one there to remind us that's what. May I leave my bag here but... Whilst I'm gone, don't look in my bag. So, and then he walked down the path. I should really do a little symbol for walk there. Then he walked down the path. Okay, however, the baker became curious. He opened the bag and out jumped the rat. Oh dear, so the rat jumped out. And when the rat jumps out, it was chased off by the baker's puppy. As you know, not the best of drawing dogs, that's our dog. So that's our puppy. Then if we remember, so the story repeats itself. Unfortunately, at that moment, Mr. Fox came back. Where's, where's my rat? Says Mr. Fox, I'm sorry said the baker. That dog chased it off. I'm going to write sorry at the top. I forgot to do my little speech bowl there. Good job I can add that in. So, I'm sorry, that dog chased it up. So, Mr Fox took the puppy. So he's taken the puppy. Right. Now, well, I'm going to have to go back onto the other page here. So he took the puppy and Mr Fox walked and he walked and he walked until he came to the butchers. Now I draw the butchers, you probably won't guess what this is, but I tend to pretend that that's a piece of meat. Until he came to the butchers. Okay, and the story repeats itself again. May I leave my bag here but whilst I'm gone, don't look in my bag. Then he walks down the path. So Mr. Fox has gone, he walks down the path. However, we know what's going to happen here. However, the butcher opened the bag and out jumps the dog. Unfortunately, at, oh no, he opens the bag, out jumps the dog and is chased off by the butcher's son. Then it's unfortunately, at that moment, Mr. Fox comes back. Where's my dog? Ah, oh, 
asks Mr Fox. I'm sorry, says the butcher. I opened the bag and my son chased it away. So, Mr Fox takes a leg of ham. Is it a leg of ham? Or take some meat, sorry, take some meat. I don't know if you can have a leg of ham. He takes some meat, okay? And he walked and he walked and he walked. So that's by times three again. He walked and he walked and he walked. But soon the dogs of the town began to follow him. So soon he's being followed by lots and lots of dogs. So the dogs of the town follow him. So then Mr. Fox ran and he ran and he ran. He ran and he ran and he ran out of the town, over the down, across the lee and down to the sea. So I just sometimes write the words in because it's a bit tricky to draw all of those. So he runs out of the town, over the down, across the lee, a lee is another word for a meadow, and to the sea. And as far as I know, Mr Fox is still running to this day. Okay, so that's our story of Greedy Fox. We'll have a little go through, see if we can do it from the beginning all the way through. So first of all, Early one morning, Mr. Fox woke up. He picked up his bag. He walked and he walked and he walked until he came to a pond. There he saw a frog. He grabbed the frog and popped it into his bag. He walked and he walked and he walked until he came to the candlestick makers. May I leave my bag here? But whilst I'm gone, don't look in it. And he walked down the path. However, the candlestick maker opened the bag and out jumped the frog and was eaten by a large brown rat. Unfortunately, at that moment, Mr. Fox came back. Where is my frog? I'm sorry, said the candlestick maker. That rat ate it. So he grabbed the rat and popped it into his bag. He walked and he walked and he walked until he came to the baker's. May I leave my bag here, but whilst I'm gone, don't look in it. Then he walked down the path. However, the baker opened the bag and out shot the rat and was chased away by the baker's puppy. Unfortunately, at that moment, Mr. Fox came back. Where's my rat? asked uh, Mr. Fox. I'm sorry, said the baker. I opened the bag and my puppy chased it off. So he took the puppy. He walked and he walked and he walked until he came to the butcher's. May I leave my bag here, but whilst I'm gone, don't look in it. And he walked down the path. However, the butcher opened the bag and out ran the puppy and was chased off by his son. Unfortunately, at that moment, Mr. Fox came back. Where's my puppy? I'm sorry, said the butcher. My son chased it off. So, Mr. Fox grabbed some meat. He walked and he walked and he walked. Suddenly, the dogs of the town were following him. So, he ran and he ran and he ran. Out of the town, over the down, across the lee, down to the sea. And as far as I know, to this day, Mr. Fox is still running. So that's our story of Greedy Fox. What you need to do is to use your story map to make sure that you keep retelling that story so that you're learning it through. So Monday's job is for you to do a story map that looks like this one here. Okay?